Howdy folks, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog. We're going to talk about iRepo and what this is, is essentially it's a repo that you can host right on your iPhone, which is pretty cool actually. I have to admit the, the concept of this is wonderful. The execution, um, you're going to have to watch and find out what I think about this one. But as you can see from the Cydia package here, iRepo is available on Big Boss. Now the advertise price right here, at least from what I'm seeing here, is 99 cents. That's actually outdated. That should be a dollar ninety-nine. This is a dollar ninety-nine package. That three-day special is over. I spoke with the developer. There was a, I guess, a miscommunication between him and the repo manager. So he's going to try to get that cleared up. So just a point of note: if you're going to buy this, it is a dollar ninety-nine, not ninety-nine cents. So that was a little frustrating, but I got that cleared up. Okay. So. Here is the repo status screen, the main page. There's three tabs as you can see here. You have status packages and repo config. Repo config is where you're gonna spend most of your time at the beginning because you need to set up your repo with the name, label, version, all that jazz and whatnot. There's also the management config section where you can set up your specific port. You can turn on password protection if you'd like to do that as well. So that's a pretty, pretty simple, uh, straightforward step to take and then you have this packages tab which actually has the location where you put your your packages here um, unfortunately there's not a file manager baked into this app so you actually have to manage your packages outside of iRepo but that's okay and then lastly you have status where you can enable a repo you have this help option which tells you how to you know manage iRepo whatnot um, but before we do any of that, we actually have to add a package to the iRepo directory. So I'm in iFile now. I'm just going to actually cut and paste this package over into the iRepo directory so that iRepo can see it. So I'm going to go back over to iRepo, and then I'm just going to paste that package that I had earlier. And then iRepo should pick it up. So there it is. Let's hit Done, and go back out. And let's go back to iRepo. And if I do a refresh here, there's my package. So you do all packages like that. You can add as many as you like over into this directory. And if you ever wanted to delete a package, all you need to do, just like every other iOS device, just tap the edit button in the upper right hand corner there, you know, check that and then you can hit the little trash can icon. It'll delete that specific package. Now we need to enable the iRepo repository. I just tapped enable and enable. Oh, nope, it doesn't work that way, folks. It actually crashed on me. So I needed to actually delete that package and now it enables. See, this is what I'm talking about. It doesn't work right. It just doesn't work right. If you add a package prior to um, enabling iRepo and you try to enable it, it just doesn't work. So I went ahead and enabled iRepo first, then added my package. And now you can see that it recognizes the package and iRepo is now active. You see that? It's kind of, I know, it was kind of confusing. But this, this app is kind of funky in the way it works. It doesn't work exactly uh, like you would expect. Now here are my Wi-Fi addresses and my web address. Uh, all I need to do is go in back into Cydia and then add that Wi-Fi address as a repository, as a source, and then it should be able to connect and find my repository. So I'm going to go in here, go to manage, and then go to sources, and edit, and then add and this tap in my Wi-Fi address that was present in iRepo. So 10.0.1.4 at source. And it should go through just like normal, just like any other repository you add, it should look exactly the same, getting all the data from the repo that we set up. So, so far, so good. So now you see iDownload block, there it is folks. I download blog and wah, 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 nothing. Nothing there. The package that we added just isn't, it's like it never even recognized it was there. I don't know why, um, but it doesn't like the package. I've tried other packages as well, no dice. So let's go ahead and reload the content and see if that helps. Um, nope. No. Uh, oh well. Disable, enable. Um, uh, that's not working. Yeah, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work like you would expect it to. The concept itself is lovely. I mean, this is an awesome concept, but it just doesn't work as advertised as far as getting 
making it easy to download your packages um, using your custom repo. It's just not finding the package. No matter what package I've added, I was not able to find it. Maybe you guys have a different experience, but my experience so far has been half-baked. It's a great concept in itself. It crashes a lot though, and it doesn't recognize any packages that I've added over here. And not only that, but I was charged a dollar ninety-nine when it told me it was going to be ninety-nine cents. So as you can tell, I'm a little salty about the whole experience. But if the developer can clean it up and, and get everything together, I'm sure this will be great. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.